What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you caught my last video, you will have seen that I basically kind of touched on um, the Aizawa banner as well as the new co-op mode. And in that video, I basically said that I wasn't gonna summon for Aizawa. However, I've recently changed my mind and here's the reason why. I was looking at all the other chips that I had and I realized I have a lot of six star chips for Aizawa. Now, I could easily wait until another time that he came around to pull for him then, but I figured since he's here now, since the banner is already here, since I have some of these rebate tickets and I was only going to spend enough to probably pull for him once or twice, I figured I might as well just go for him now with the rebate tickets that I have so that if I get him, I can actually put some of these chips to use. So before we go ahead and start pulling for him, I do have 10 of these basic hero tickets that I can kind of open. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these. Hopefully we can get an S tier. Um, it's not looking likely. I'm not that close to pity for this. So we're gonna go ahead, open this up, put the little S on it and no yellow flash. So, okay, we at least know we did get a Kaminari. So that's pretty good. Um, we did get a couple of Tokiyami shards. So that's looking really good too. And we got a full pull of Kirishima. So not bad. I would have loved to have actually had two solid pulls of Tokiyami. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. Um, besides, this opening is not about Tokoyami. This is all about Aizawa for this one. So hopefully we can get some really, really good luck in this one. Um, like I said, at max, I'm only going to open two openings of this to try and get him. So let's go ahead and pop the first 10. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I don't expect to get him up right away, but hopefully we can get lucky here. So let's put down the S. And no, no way on the very first opening, we get Aizawa. This is insane. This is by far probably like my best, like, you know, showing of luck with any of my openings. Yeah, I did pull All Might from like a single pull, um, from like a single pop, but and Endeavor, it took me all the way to, you know, pity, but getting Aizawa when I really didn't want to spend a lot of my rebates on him is awesome. So I still have 90 tickets to be able to, for whatever banner comes next, plus I'm still holding on to my hero coins because I'm not, you know, I don't plan on spending those anytime soon. But the fact that we were able to get the boy, let's go check him out. Um, Let's put a little bit of, you know, resources into him so we can at least get him ranked up. Let me put some of these chips into him because that's the whole reason that I decided to pull for him in the first place. And yeah, like much like Endeavor, I'm not going to be rushing to, you know, get him ranked up because it takes so many resources. Not to mention, I'm also trying to rank up Tokoyami at this point and they both are speed characters. So that's a lot of, um points that need to go into their talent trees and i'm not going to be able to do both right now so i'm going to focus on tokiyami right now because he's the one that i enjoy playing the most right now and i'll get to aizawa when i can um it's crazy because at this point in my roster the only characters that i don't have are momo and bakugo and this puts me in a really weird position hopefully i can find a way of getting more of those basic hero tickets because I'd rather just pull them from there rather than, you know, doing any of their smaller, uh, you know, featured banners that are coming up every so often. But let's go ahead and get Aizawa ranked up a little bit higher. I'm only going to be able to take him to what looks like level 15 or level 20 right now. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to be rushing. I want to get Tokoyami as high as I possibly can before I start focusing on Aizawa. But let's go ahead and put in the rest of his battle chips and... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I do have those support cards as well. So I might as well use those too, because again, I'm probably not going to use them for any other hero. Um, I know support cards are super useful in the game. I just haven't really been making them a priority for me. Um, but I definitely will probably change that much later, especially now that I've reached, you know, the point in the game where I'm done with a lot of the chapter content. And so I am going to have to start putting more emphasis on his support card. So kind of looking at what Aizawa needs, I should probably go ahead and just go ahead and pop some of those open. Um, I have 15 support cards for his banner, so might as well open those. Maybe we can get, you know, some even more luck with that and get one of his passive cards as well. 
but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, if I were able to also get one of his passive cards, that would make this opening just insane. Um, I'm happy enough though, just to be able to get him one time, but let's go ahead, let's put the S in here, see if we can get some luck. I don't know if these, I can't remember if these flash gold, if you get the actual passive, but we at least got what looks like two four stars there, a third, and we at least got one five star. And I think that uh, support card is actually for Aizawa's kit. So at least we got one five star card that's good for his kit. It would have been nice to get some of the passives, but I'll just keep stacking up my support cards as I'm getting them um, and hopefully, you know, build out his kit the rest of the way. But let's go ahead and pop one more of these. Maybe I can get lucky in a single, but it's not very likely. Like I, like I said, support cards are super hard to come by. Um, and then being able to get some of the passives, like I have had some really good luck with some of my support cards, but it is really difficult to repeat that luck. I think more so than it is um, with some of the hero tickets, or it's probably about the same to be completely honest with you guys, but it doesn't look like we're getting anything good out of these single pops. Let's go ahead and open up another one of these. Um, yeah, a lot of rares, a lot of commons. Um, so, you know, again, if we can get any type of four star ones or five star ones, that'll be great. Um, look, we are getting at least a four star. So, OK, we got another copy of Midnight, um, which, again, isn't all that difficult to find in, you know, when it comes to opening support cards and things like that. So it's nice to have. I can always, you know, fuse that together with some other four star cards and potentially get a good five star or something like that, um, either for Aizawa or another hero of mine. But... Let's go ahead, jump into Aizawa. Let's throw some of these support cards into him. Um, kind of get a look at where his battle power is currently. And, you know, figure out what I'll have to do um, going forward to kind of build him out. So it looks like I'll at least be able to put three support cards into him, um, which is great. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a huge focus, like I've been saying for a while. Like, he's not going to be the main focus of my roster right now. But it is cool to have, like... Like a lot of you guys, I'm sure we all would love to just have every character in the game just so we have the options to be able to play whoever we want. But I'm super stoked to be able to get him in just one multi pool. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Did you guys summon for Aizawa? Did you already have him? Maybe you, some of you guys have had even better luck than I did. But let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And like always, I will catch you guys in the next video.